When the going gets tough, everyday objects can be useful. Did you know you can make an antenna out of an original slinky? Let's dive into it. Hey there, and thank you for stopping by the Nuka Vault Readiness channel. Today is going to be more of a show and tell kind of video. We're going to show you how you could take an original slinky and make it an antenna for your amateur radio use. This one I used on the 20 meter band and the HF frequencies, which for those of you who are new or, or have not heard of uh, amateur radio before, the HF frequencies is what covers your long distance, coast to coast kind of communication and international as well. So I got the idea from a uh, amateur radio channel that you can turn a slink into an antenna. I thought it was really cool. I want to try it out myself. Uh, I'll link down in the description the channel that I got the original idea from. And you're going to need a few things here. And again, if you are not an amateur radio operator, that's okay. This is just a very brief video. and We'll do a build later. But you're going to need a slinky. Again, this is the original. I think it's a total of 67 feet when it's stretched. This is a piece of 16 gauge wire that I ended up soldering onto the end with a little end terminal um, crimped on and heat shrinked. You're going to need one of these. This is called an Unun. This is by LDG. It is a 9 to 1. And what this does is this acts as a box that helps take out the different impedance levels uh, between your antenna and what you'll eventually have to hook up to the coax. Because radios like to have balanced systems and don't like to work with really funky numbers when it comes to uh, ohm rating and impedance along different transmission lines. So you're going to need to get one of these. I got this off of Ham Radio Outlet. I believe you could still find these also on Amazon. You can get different packs and different uh, different ratios as well for different types of antennas. But today we're using this one. A little bit of paracord that I'm going to use to string the slinky from on a pole, which I'll show you in a second. And a little not really a paracord, but a little bungee clip, which just little hooks on the end, and it's going to hold this and kind of suspend it so that I can hook your coax up right here. So this is pretty much all you need for this. And then, like I said, we'll go over there, and I'll show you the poles right now, uh, what we're going to be working with. Okay, guys, for the pole, we are using this little tripod here. I believe it is a surveyor's tripod. I got this out of a garage sale. Uh, specifically for this use not technically for the slinky antenna but to put up a makeshift antenna pole and right here this is a part of a pole that would be from a old uh, military surplus like communications pole uh, all together it's about 16 feet so inside the tripod there we are at about 17 feet tall total so what i'm going to do is we're going to drop the slinky from the top up there and we're actually going to suspend it about four feet or so from the top, stretch it down, and then it's going to hold itself right there near the top and make contact with this because this will also help um, conduct more length of the wire that we would need. Then I'm going to hook up the coax and we will run over to the radio and the battery set up. So give me a second here and we'll get right back to it. All right, so we've got it hooked up here, as you can see. It's coax pulling on a little bit. That's not ideal, but it's working. And there's the bungee. And there's the slinky. Yeah, it's about four feet from the top there, suspended down. And it is making contact here with the metal, and that helps the conductivity overall of the antenna. So as we go over here, we've got the radio set up. Let me turn this down a bit. So I'm running it off this Yesu 891 with its uh, associated tuner and this battery box here that I built myself. There'll be a follow-up video a little bit later on how I built this. Really good for portable use. Uh, thus far, it's worked wonders for me. And I'll let you listen here for a second. November 8, Quebec Alpha Romeo. Roger, Roger, thank you so much 
All right. So the guy calling there, calling QRZ, um, he's taking in uh, calls right now on at HF frequency. This is again 20 meters on HF. Um, so the guy taking calls right now is in North Carolina, and I believe the caller he just took was from Cleveland, Ohio. So uh, I've been listening to him for a few minutes. I've been trying to contact him with uh, no luck yet, uh, but he's got quite a pile up going on. So I guess he's contesting, or he's um, probably doing a parks on the air activation. But there you go, guys. Sleeky antennae. Sleeky antenna. Sorry. Uh, 20 meters. Looky there. So who knew that a toy can work just like that? Found this video helpful? Appreciate it if you share it to someone. Remember, you can use almost anything. You just put some ingenuity and imagination to work. Till next time, always be getting ready. We'll see you around.